Good evening guys and welcome back to another one of my video. Hopefully you can see behind me is the clear 197 in red and we are here today potentially the last video maybe the second to last but this is just going to be a for sale video just going to give it a quick clean all over now inside and out. Need to move it around the corner into the shade just so it's not directly in the sunlight because we are having some beautiful weather in this quarantine currently but just need to give it a nice clean up, take loads of pictures of it, get the for sale ad ready and obviously this video, if you're here from the for sale ad, is just to sort of run over the car, what's good, what's bad, give you a sort of personal view through sort of footage video rather than photos so hopefully it gives you guys that insight as to what you might be buying if you're coming to look at this car but yeah just going to give it a nice clean now. Should we see it? I don't want to put my seat in my arm, I'm literally driving around the corner of the house. Like a dream. So I'm going to give you all the information on the car once I've sorted out and put it back in the sun. Right, let's park her up and tell you all there is to know and see. Alright, so it's all clean. Unfortunately, we've got a slight shade coming. I did just let it warm up, but I don't have time to move it back. So I'm going to put a video in here of when it was clean and fully in the sun and stuff like that. But this is just for me just to walk around the car and show you guys. So, yeah, just giving it a full clean. Use all the tire shine, use nice wax on it. Um, but yeah, we're just going to talk about the car in general. I put a full advert up on Facebook and the Clear Group, so if you want to, uh, I'll see if I can link it to it in the description or something like that. Um, but pretty much just type Clear197 in on Facebook, and I'm in the Warmster area. So you'll be able to find me on that. But I don't think I'm going to put it on eBay or anything like that, unless I need to. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a quick run around the car now. Going from the passenger. The inside is in pretty much spot on condition, except for. The normal steering wheel has got one tiny little peel and the stitching in the middle has gone. So if you want to get your uh, needle and thread out, feel free to stitch that again. Seats, obviously this, it is all the standard interior, it's not the Recaro's. Um, you do have a slight split to the bolster on that side, but overall the seats, front and back, uh, are in good condition, very good condition. A few stickers now, as you go around aftermarket radio the pioneer with the usb pretty much i had my phone holder up there that i can plug that into i'm gonna take this <laughs> but obviously feel free to do the same thing that's the way we uh worked it around in the car normal mats are in fine condition the gear knobs in perfect condition as well because a lot of them have these that peel off and it goes like a weird orangey yellow colour but this one's not this one's condition is spot on gearbox in general as well was another massive issue with the clear 197 um same with the 182 um this gearbox was changed in 2016 so four years ago but it's still perfect there's no crunches from second into third which is the common one um and yeah there's just no crunches at all or anything like that um trying to think of what else i put in the advert obviously it's just gone through an mt cam belt and water pump so that's all done fresh new ready to rock so you guys don't have to worry about that my brother was an idiot a year and a half ago and bought it um with only a year and a half left on the cam belt so we've obviously had to fork out for that but that's a good selling point um because that's still got well it's obviously got five years left on it now um and it can give you guys peace of mind because the mot is now obviously 12 months as well because it passed that new subframe came along with that because while doing the cam belt i'm pretty sure they spotted that the subframe was rotten which i didn't obviously know about um, but apparently there's a bit of a hole in it, too big to weld, um, so we bought a brand new one um, and got that delivered and fitted as well, so that's new, um, but obviously that helped it pass uh, the MOT. This is really hard to do this video now, I've never really had to talk about selling a car or, or what the car has. Obviously the car in general, if you don't know about Clio's, uh, it is a push start on this one rather than the key. They do come with the key version as well. This car's got two brand new key cards and you can either push start it or you can pop the key in here as well. Um, and then push start from there if the key's not working, but they're both brand new so it should work absolutely spot on Obviously cruise control and everything like that as well speed limiter and things like that are all on there as well with the buttons 
being on the steering wheel because the steering wheel is still standard. And in general, other than that, that's the interior, really. There's not much to talk about. Um, but I'm going to run over the exterior again and do it in good detail. So we'll go to the outside of the car. So obviously, you don't know about Clio's. Under there, you've got a two litre. 197 brake horsepower engine but it has been remapped by rs tuning um originally on the remap i think the figures came out at 179 and then it got remapped up to 190 so it's actually a 190 brake um horsepower car but that's all done by rs tuning um, and i've got the paperwork loads of paperwork to show obviously for that gearbox replacement in 2016 um, and other work like that for the springs and the exhaust which we'll get to in a second at the front we have the renault sport sort of genuine official splitter a lot of people this is quite sought after a lot of people ask me where i got it from um, but i don't know because it came with the car so i apologize uh, to those people um just a normal side skirt no extra on there um black with red diamond 17 inch alloys with the red bremo four pot brakes in there spoiler at the back is the cup spoiler this is really sought after as well but you can get these um, fiberglass ones and stuff like that but with a black sticker on the back of the car this is my favorite part is the orica race exhaust obviously it's a single exit so it's only the pipe on the left not the double um, and it starts with a miltech decat into the orica race exhaust but that's quite sought after as well because they're really rare and i don't think you can get a hold of them anymore so second hand only you can grab those but Sounds absolutely lovely. If you haven't seen my videos before, check out some of the other ones if you're really interested in the car um, and you can see what it sounds like because I've done a lot of point of view driving and stuff like that in this, so you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see what it sounds like. And obviously the 197 diffuser at the bottom as well. Black badges, front and back. Still got the wiper, no wiper delete on this one. A few stickers here and there. What other bits to talk about? <laughs> yeah, so lowered on springs. I can't remember if I've said that. It's lowered on springs. I think a 40 mil all the way around. Also got a spacer, 20 mil all the way around as well, which makes it sit absolutely lovely, in my opinion. There's no rubbing or anything like that. No scuffing. Speed bumps. It clears them fine as well. It's not that. It's not low, low that you're going to be ridiculous hitting everything. Um, but same, like I said, on the back. It's got a 20 mil spacer in there again. It just is nice on the back but yeah no no rubbing no scrubbing no bumps or anything like that as you can see from the tires it does not scrub at all just to show you the engine bay guys um new battery recently i had to change that because the old one died through the winter unfortunately so that one's been swapped with a euro car parts battery i think it was a leon one um, but i got all the receipts and proof of purchase for that one everything else is standard standard airbox obviously the engines had the cam out recently but other than that that is the engine bay all nice and easy and that's it that's the clear 197 it's about eight and a half thousand miles into this next service like i said 12 months 70 five years on the cam out because that's just been done um and that is about it if you don't know it miles per gallon averages about 30 um if you drive faster obviously it goes down to about 20 odd if you drive more economical longer journeys it goes up to about 40 odd maybe just under <laughs> but yeah that is the clear 197 um, obviously if you've got any questions guys do leave them down it um below but this is going to be one of my last videos on this car so hopefully you guys have enjoyed me owning this car for six months um I'm sort of excited to go back to the 182 just so I can compare to this one. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. If I get back to the 182 and it is a mistake, um, I'll be keeping it <laughs> pretty much because I know now that this car um, is, yeah, is 100% ready to go and ready to rock and everything that needs doing has been done. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's, uh, that's sorted and ready to go to a new owner, someone that can enjoy it and go give it a blast. Uh, yeah, I trying to think if there's anything i missed out on but hopefully not but yeah that's it guys thanks for tuning in and um, feel free to give us a like a comment and a subscribe any comments about the car feel free to let me know um, but the for sale album could be going up as soon as possible or might even be up by the time this video is out but yeah thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you on the next one